In this video, we are going to look at resizing. Now, why is resizing important? When you crop an image, you'll notice there is still a lot of pixels available, or it's still got a lot of pixels. Now, when you save that file, it'll still be pretty large, like 2 megs or 5 megs or whatever. Now, the problem is emailing that or uploading it to Facebook can be a headache. So here we are going to look at how to resize it to make it nice and small that you maybe only send 150 kilobytes or 3 or 400 kilobytes depending on the quality of the file. Now to resize an image go to image at the top right here and then go to scale image image and scale image click on that and you'll get a dialog screen which looks like this. Now a very important part is to always make sure that this lock is, uh, this chain is not broken. When I click on it you'll see the chain there is broken. It needs to be solid like that. The reason is that when you put in a number at the width, the height will automatically change. Now here comes a very, very important. And you always type in the longest side of the photo first. In other words, say I want to make my pictures 1000 pixels by whatever. Then the longest side of this picture is the width. So if I type in 1000 here, the program automatically, because of that chain there, works out the height for me. Now I can't put in the 1000 at height. You'll notice this image won't really go much smaller. If you see that, it's already about 1000. So I'm going to make the width 1000. Notice that it changed the height now to 245. And I just click on scale. An image looks much smaller, so you can go just you can just go to your navigation and just zoom in closer. Now you'll notice here that I'm now at 100%. So this is the true size of the picture. And if you look at it, the quality is not that, not that bad. For displaying this on, a, on someone's screen, it's perfect. I'm just going to close this picture now, and I'm going to resize another picture, and then we can save it. I'm going to take this picture again, it'll be used for cropping for prints. And then I'm going to show you just the other way around if you want to resize a picture that's not like a landscape, or the panel we just used, but it's got more of a portrait crop like this image. Now you do exact, the exact same steps, you go to image, you go to scale image, but now this time you'll notice that the numbers are swapped around. The height is now much much more than has got much more pixels than the width has. So I can't put 1,000 here, then the picture is still going to be too large. So what I need to do is, like I said, type in 1,000 where or type 1,000 in at the longest side of the picture. Now the longest side here is the height. So for a portrait crop like this, I now go and type in 1000 at height and not at width. So I type in 1000 and you'll notice it resized, it resized the width for me. And I just go scale and you'll notice this, the picture displayed right here is only 18%. So you need to click under navigation to get it all the way to 100%. And here's our picture. I just look at that quality. There's nothing wrong with this. Now when you need to save when you want to save it, you go to File, Save As. Never use Save, because when you save over your original, always go Save As. And I'm just gonna put here Crop Portrait. I'm just gonna make it small. And then save it as a JPEG, a JPG file. Then you go save and you get a screen that looks like this. Now if you look at the file size, now I'm going to use 100% for the quality and the file size is 400, 402 kilobytes. You can experiment with this slider on a bunch of pictures and just see which ones or which amount you think is perfect for your pictures. I always try to save my pictures the best quality possible so I'm just going to go 100% and I just click on save and there's our picture. Now if I double click on the resized picture, there we've got our picture on Windows 7. I'm going to click here on full size and I can move the picture up and down. And if you look at the quality of this, it's very nice for only 400 kilobytes. And the original image, if I check the size, the original image was 5.69 megs. So we've saved around, say, 5.2 megs when we want to now send this picture.
that's all for the resizing and saving the picture and I'll see you in the next video.